Disney's newest attraction has opened early. Two more rides are being added to Genie Plus. We have a bunch of news about this year's Festival of the Holidays and a lot more. All the latest Disney news is coming right up on DFB Guide. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. Now, big things are happening in Disney World right now as the newest attraction has kind of opened. <laughs> and even though it's the first weekend of October, it's time to start talking about the holidays. So, Journey of Water, inspired by Moana, is that new walkthrough attraction that's scheduled to open in Epcot on October 16th. But Epcot surprised us this week by having a soft opening for this new attraction. So, Journey of Water, inspired by Moana, soft opened on Friday, October 6th, yesterday. According to Disney, the attraction will be open on select days and hours from the 6th through the 15th, and it'll officially open on the 16th. You can join the virtual queue on the My Disney Experience app starting at 9 a.m. until it reaches capacity or is no longer needed. The 2023 Epcot Festival of the Holidays returns from November 24th to December 30th. It's going to be filled with food and fun and all sorts of festive entertainment. Disney released a lot of info this week about this year's festival. First, the Candlelight Processional will bring new celebrity narrators to the event, including Brendan Fraser and Joey McIntyre. The Epcot Candlelight Processional, a longtime fan favorite experience, is the retelling of the Christmas story. It's also a standing tradition that celebrities help narrate the this story accompanied by a massive choir, a 50-piece orchestra, herald trumpets, and the voices of liberty. It wouldn't be a holiday celebration without the main man himself, though, Santa Claus. The jolly icon will return to the Odyssey Pavilion from November 24th to December 24th. The World Showcase storytellers are also returning this year. We can expect to see the mischievous Barn Santa from Norway, a Chinese lion dancer for Lunar New Year, Père Noël from France, Hanukkah stories, and more. Living with the Land is getting that holiday glow up thanks to the overlay. Feast your eyes upon Christmas lights and other festive elements that are added to the Epcot icon every year. And catch Joyful, a celebration of the season in World Showcase Plaza. This uplifting gospel and R&B show celebrates Christmas in Kwanzaa, and we promise you'll want to dance. For even more info about this year's festival, like every single booth that's been announced for Festival of the Holidays, that's right, we've got them all, head to our website at DisneyFoodBlog.com. And guess what, Disneyland fans? Two more rides are being added to Genie Plus for you in November. That's right, Disneyland announced that both Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway in Disneyland and The Little Mermaid, Ariel's Undersea Adventure will be added to the Skip the Line service in Disney California Adventure. As of right now, Mickey and Minnie's is available as an individual lightning lane, which is that pay per ride through instead of being offered as part of the standard Genie Plus service, so that'll be a good change. And Disney hasn't announced an official date for this one, so stay tuned for more updates. Disney's revealed that starting November 14th, a new offer will be released for families looking to save on a spring vacation. Children's theme park tickets and dining plans will be 50% off with the purchase of a non-discounted four-night, four-day Walt Disney World package. The package must include hotel stay, theme park tickets, and a dining plan, and it'll be valid for most days from March 3rd through June 30th, 2024. We noticed Muppet Vision 3D in Hollywood Studios has received an upgrade. We are now noticing there seems to be a projection mapping inside the theater. This means all the projections are fitting the architecture of the building almost seamlessly. This has also added an improvement to all the projections on the wall. We especially noticed this when Waldo got blasted out onto them. He looks so much clearer than he used to with the old projection system. Not only is he clearer, but when he gets vacuumed up, all these Waldos don't just seemingly disappear, but actually fly back into the screen. You can see them apparently moving back towards where they came from below. A cast member did confirm for us that the projection system has been updated, but it's taken people a few days to notice. Once we did recognize it, we would say it's a big improvement. We're glad to see Hollywood Studios and especially Muppet Vision getting some love. Cast members in the World Celebration neighborhood of Epcot are sporting new outfits in a few shops. The new costumes are gray with a geometric pattern on the left side that resembles Spaceship Earth, the iconic emblem of World Celebration. There are three color patterns that cast members can choose from, green, purple, and blue. We spotted these new outfits in Creation Shop, Connections Cafe, Pin Traders, and a few other locations across that neighborhood. Ever since the pandemic, Winnie the Pooh's been hanging out near the Imagination Pavilion in the big field area, but now the Winnie the Pooh meet and greet has a officially move back to its original home in Christopher Robin's room in the UK pavilion. We are so excited to have the chance to hug Pooh 
Pooh in Epcot again. If you want to meet him elsewhere, don't forget about his meet and greet in Magic Kingdom with Tigger in Fantasyland or the character meal at Crystal Palace. Something brand new has landed in Epcot, introducing the Perseverance Mars Rover Tracks. This installation is a collaboration between Walt Disney Imagineering and NASA and celebrates the Perseverance Rover that is currently making its way around Mars. The new display details the mission on a plaque next to a recreation of rover tread marks. Disney shared that NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory provided images of the rover with a prototype wheel to help create the tread marks, which are identical to the ones on Mars. The Perseverance rover landed on Mars in 2021 and has been sending photos and data back to NASA ever since. Its main goal is to find out if there is or ever was life on the red planet. So next time you're at Epcot, go check it out. We've got some news about Luminous, the new fireworks show coming to Epcot on December 5th. Epcot will have two dining packages available during the new fireworks show. Both Spice Road Table and Rosen Crown Dining Room will continue to offer dining packages that allow you to enjoy a meal as well as a spectacular view of the new show. Note that dining packages are available right now. Those with reservations through December 4th will continue to enjoy Epcot forever, while those with reservations on and after December 5th will see Luminous. At Spice Road Table, you can dine on Mediterranean small plates in an area resembling the cafes of the Moroccan seaside. The dining package here includes a prefix menu consisting of your choice of two small plates, a shared tagine, a dessert platter, and unlimited beverages. Pricing at Spice Road Table will be $79 per adult plus tax and gratuity and $29 per child plus tax and gratuity. Over at Rose and Crown, you will be seated on the outside patio at Rose and Crown Dining Room, which offers a stunning view of World Showcase Lagoon and the fireworks shows, of course. Here, the dining package includes a prefix menu where you can choose an appetizer, an entree, one dessert, and a selection of unlimited beverages. Pricing is $89 per adult plus tax and gratuity and $39 per child plus tax and gratuity. A new month means new flavors at Gideon's Bakehouse in Disney Springs, and for October, the Frankenstein cookie is back. As a reminder, this amazing creation consists of various chocolates, double stuff Oreos, and M&Ms. This is a fan favorite for a reason. But that's not all. The Bride of Frankenstein cookie is back, too. This version is almost the same as the other Frankenstein cookie, but this one features white chocolate, golden Oreos, and M&Ms. Additionally, the French Toast Cold Brew is back for both October and November. This one is described as the perfect mix of coffee and French toast breakfast wrapped in one. When we tried it last year, we thought it had a great flavor that wasn't overly sweet. And on Instagram, Gideon's announced that there will be some new cake slices this month. You can now get the Frankenstein cake slices and Bride of Frankenstein cake slices every Wednesday and Saturday in October while supplies last. You can also order either flavor as a whole cake pre-order on the Gideon's Bakehouse website. The Frankenstein cake is made with three layers of chocolate cake, Oreo buttercream, and M&Ms with a chocolate ganache, and Bride of Frankenstein is two layers of vanilla cake sandwiching a layer of chocolate cake topped with golden Oreo buttercream. We recently ventured out to the Disney World hotels to snag the latest round of Halloween snacks. Our first stop took us out to the Mara at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge to try out the Black Cat Tart for $5.99. This treat is made of carrot cake topped with orange caramel, toasted coconut, and pumpkin cheesecake. There's a very strong pumpkin flavor in this mousse and that balances well with the fall spices in the carrot cake. The mousse is light and refreshing while the cake is denser and definitely comfort food. The dome surprisingly didn't stain our teeth, which we really appreciated, and the whole treat held together really well. This one scored highly with our taste buds, and the presentation was super cute and fun. We think if you're a fan of pumpkin and carrot cake and mousse, you're going to appreciate this one. Our next stop took us to Beach Club Marketplace at Disney's Beach Club Resort to pick up the Captain Hook cookie for $6.29. It's made of vanilla sable with strawberry jam, peanut butter ganache, and buttercream and chocolate decor. This one is very, very cute. Looks like a taco with a mustache. We swooned over the peanut butter and jelly filling that definitely had strong strawberry and peanutty flavors. It was super creamy. The cookie is really soft and easy to eat, and the topping is made of white buttercream that's nice and fluffy. We quickly found its weakness, though, when we cut into it. It's very messy to eat because the bottom is attached to the container with chocolate, and there's also a lot of sugar in this one, so be prepared for that. If you're a PB&J fan, a cookie lover, or someone who really likes Captain Hook, get this one. And by the way, we've been trying all the Halloween treats around all of Walt Disney World, so definitely go check out every single review of every single Halloween treat. You know we've got them all for you. We recently went to Chicken Guy in Disney Springs to try the Korean barbecue sandwich, and to our surprise, it was not what we expected. On the outside, looking at the ingredients, the Korean barbecue sandwich is just that. It's got a sticky Korean barbecue sauce with Asian slaw and pickles. Now let's start with the good, and there's plenty of it. 
The chicken itself is up to par with Chicken Guy's standards. It was very tender on the inside, crispy on the outside, and the breading was seasoned just right. The brioche style bun was soft and pillowy, exactly what you're looking for in a chicken sandwich. We also thought the sauce added a bit of a spicy kick, but nothing overpowering. While we mostly enjoyed the Korean barbecue sandwich, it did subvert our expectations in one not so great way. We had a surprisingly small amount of sauce on it, and it was clear the sauce was drizzled on. We would have preferred the chicken to be tossed in the sauce to give it some more kick and flavor. The sandwich fits the chicken guy trend of tasty yet affordable. By itself, the Korean barbecue sandwich is $8.99 and it's $13.49 as a combo. The Disney 100 event is winding down and we're saying farewell with a new finale collection on Shop Disney and in the parks. There's a spirit jersey with a lustrous gray purple finish and even features fireworks in the shape of Mickey on the back. These Disney 100 ears feature a lot of fireworks as well as the iconic partner statue. Oh, and these light up too. Similar to the ears is the Disney 100 partner lounge fly backpack. Just like the ears, it features that iconic statue of Walt and Mickey, and they've got fireworks too. To complete the partner's trifecta, we've got this geometric tumbler that matches the ears and bags. Of course, there is plenty more where this came from. You can check out all of the Disney 100 merchandise by clicking the link in the description below. All right, everybody, that's the news for this week. Now, there's plenty more over on our website, and if you want all the latest news, all the latest info right in your inbox, be sure to join our newsletter. The link to subscribe is right down in the description and it's completely free and that'll make sure you don't miss out on anything. And don't forget to follow us on social media at Disney Food Blog for even more fun Disney content. Thanks for listening everyone and thanks for watching. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog and we'll see you real soon.